Whether it is health or business motives that brought you here, consider yourself blessed to have clicked on this video. This is because I am going to be giving you the secret that a lot of people wouldn't even think of. Even if they do, they wouldn't dare to share. But you must have noticed already that on this channel, we constantly bring up unique business ideas that will help you as an individual to attain your financial independence as soon as possible and also help Africa as a whole. You know, goal getters, no matter the amount of wealth we amass, if we don't take care of our health, we are actually chasing the wind. In this video, I am going to be talking about certain plants that doctors don't want you to know. In Africa, these plants actually take care of vital organs like the heart, liver, kidney, lungs, and our brain. If you look around, you would notice that people who actually live long are those who take very good care of these organs. That's why you would notice that the Asians actually live longer than other races in the world because they don't joke with their health all right what they eat is carefully selected unlike we in other parts of the world who just eat whatever we think of that's why japan actually has an average life expectancy of 84 years so this video is a wake-up call for us the africans who have the youngest population in the world and we have more than half of the world's population that is experiencing things like high blood pressure and many more. Isn't it concerning that the high blood pressure, that's something that is generally attributed to older people or aged people, is actually very rampant in Africa right now. The Japanese, for instance, who have the highest aged population, are making good use of some of these plants that I am going to be talking about in this video. The Indians too are doing great when it comes to these medicines helps. So what are we the Africans doing? Do you know that the value of the pharmaceutical industry in 2022 was about 1.48 trillion dollars and for you my goal getters who are in the diaspora these business ideas should be taken more seriously this is because you being out there have the opportunity to actually do some negotiations and farm most of these products in africa and export them to your various countries and make more profit than even we the africans living here so my goal getters please let's take these business ideas not only as problems but as a business opportunity so before we get into the points let me quickly give you an idea of what we are going to be doing right so here's a strategy you will be coming up with a disease prevention brand that only promotes healthy living so while watching this video this is exactly what i want you to have at the back of your mind so if you're new to the channel my name is elvin jake and i take it as a personal mission to help you attain your financial independence as soon as possible you are watching africa today and we are starting right now So the first plant I am going to be talking here about is the Moringa plant. This plant is most popular in India, but recently Africans have taken real interest in this plant. This is because this plant is actually a miracle plant. It's got lots of health benefits or medicinal values that you would be so proud of yourself if you actually invest in the farming of this plant. Moringa powder is very popular in Africa right now and people have been coming up with face mask containing the moringa powder body soap or skincare soaps containing moringa powder and many other products the moringa plant is actually that one plant that every part of it is useful or eaten the moringa plant is so so generous to the point that from the seeds to the leaves to the tubers everything is consumed and all of them have health benefits the indians had long noticed all these benefits and have been making very good use of this plant. Do you know that the Indians consume 80% of the world's Moringa? And we the Africans are mostly using it just for our soap or our face mask. But we aren't really aware of the benefits of the Moringa to our system as a whole. Let me take an example of a pending situation we are facing in Africa right now. You would agree with me that in most African countries, we consume corn in various ways. Most West African countries, especially 
honey, it's corn fufu, corn puff balls, and even the beer that a lot of West Africans drink is made of corn. When we give birth to our babies, we give them pap or what the Nigerians call akamu, which is also made of corn. So we start consuming a lot of corn right from our childhood to adulthood, making us taking a lot of carbohydrate. And you know, when we consume this carbohydrate, it is further broken down into glucose. And you know, glucose is sugar, right? Now, the problem is when the glucose isn't used by our body through things, Things like exercising or even just doing physical heart labor, it develops fats that accumulate around our blood vessels, thereby increasing our blood pressure, which then causes things like stroke and many others. So if you look at this map, you are going to be noticing that most, if not all African countries suffer from a lot of high blood pressure, except for one country. Yeah, can you have a guess? This country is Nigeria. You will notice that Nigeria is marked green. Now, let me tell you why. You must have noticed that Nigerians consume a lot of yam right they love eating this their delicacy called pounded yam with many other soups but then our focus is the yam yam is that product that really helps the heart to function properly and given the fact that nigerians from birth to adulthood consume a lot of yam it goes a long way to help protect their heart contrary to other parts of africa that consume things like corn nigeria has the largest population in africa right but ironically they've got the lowest cases of high blood pressure in Africa. It is simple. Yam is that one element that has been protecting Nigerians from high blood pressure and some of them don't even know. So if you are a Nigerian watching this video, you better double up on your yam intake and if you are in any other african country you better start producing more yam we the Cameroonians, produce yam but we just eat it randomly from time to time but we don't really take it seriously but after watching this video please do well to include enough yam in your diet as it is going to go a long way to help you can now see that our diet goes a long way to affect our health it is said that you are what you eat right so let's Let's be more vigilant on what we consume in Africa. So in as much as this is a problem, if you are the goal getter that I know you are, you will rather see a business opportunity to hop on. And that's where the Moringa steps in. The Moringa is an antibiotic plant that reduces sugar level in blood and it also reduces cholesterol. So why not go for the Moringa farming if you want to bring a solution to Africans? As entrepreneurs, we are now left with one solution, right? Like I always say on the channel, where people see problems, entrepreneurs or goal getters see business opportunities. So this is one that you're going to be hopping on to bring a solution that is the cultivation of more Moringa to help neutralize the effects of the things we've been consuming. We the Africans need to change our eating habits. I understand that it is very difficult to just abandon something we've been eating throughout our lives and that we enjoy. Apart from reducing cholesterol levels, Moringa also protects the liver and prevents cancer. So at this point, give me one reason why you shouldn't invest in the farming of Moringa. So if you're interested, there are some key things that I would love you to know. The Moringa plant actually does well on a variety of soils, especially the deep sandy loam soil. And the planting is generally done from July to October. So you know what to do. There's enough land in Africa. You can buy as many hectares as you would love to and plant your Moringa. So for a hectare, you would need about 500 grams of moringa seeds and you would also need irrigation during dry seasons and some degree of manuring and to crown it all the moringa plant is so generous do you know that once you start harvesting your moringa the more you cut off the branches the more branches grow at this point i don't think there is any other reason you have not to embark on the moringa farming if you are the real goal getter 
better than I think you are. So if you are loving this video so far, please give it a thumbs up already and do well to share with your loved ones and possibly leave a comment for me to know what you think so far. Now the next on our list is the ginseng plant. Common in Asia and America, this northern American native plant is one of the most expensive plants in the world. The most useful part is the roots, which is often dried, blended, and used for various reasons. And the good thing with the ginseng is that it is very rapid in reaction. Once you consume the ginseng powder, it takes about 24 to 48 hours for you to notice its effects on your body. Just as the moringa plant, it lowers blood sugar and cholesterol levels, and it is an energy booster. So it is very suitable for those who go to the gym or who constantly exercise. So if you have a diabetic patient, the ginseng plant or powder is suitable for them for it actually treats diabetes and help with sexual related problems, men suffering from premature ejaculation and other sexual dysfunctions. So this is that one plant that is going to be solving a lot of room problems in many homes. You know what I mean, right? The ginseng plant is also an immunity builder. So this plant has a lot of virtues, but truth be told, it is a very tedious plant to grow. It takes a lot to grow ginseng that if you want to embark on its production, be sure to employ. All right, because you just can't cope alone. Remember, we are talking here of mass production, production in hectares and hectares of land. Let's now go to the next plant, which is the turmeric plant. Known as the golden plant, this plant is very similar to the ginger plant. You might easily mistake it for ginger if you aren't used to it, but then there is a difference at the level of coloring. It's got a more concentrated color than ginger, a yellow-orange-like color that makes it really pop up, especially when blended. The turmeric is an antioxidant plant that helps fight things like inflammation, yeah, it reduces inflammation and also improves our liver function and is a good pain reliever. Turmeric is great for the skin. That's why you would see in the beauty industry, a lot of people produce turmeric soap, turmeric body scrub and face masks. It is also very good for those suffering from arthritis and is a good belly fat burner since it suppresses the growth of fat tissues. I don't want this video to be too long, so I will go straight away to the next plant, which is the beet root. The beet root is that one plant that's appropriate for fruit juice. Yes, if you are going for natural fruit juice brand, the farming of beet root is a good deal for you, all right? It is rich in protective antioxidants and lowers blood pressure as well. It also lowers the risk of heart disease. The beet root improves energy levels and is therefore suitable for gyms or people who constantly exercise. So if you're interested in investing in beetroot farming, you've chosen one of the best businesses for it takes only seven weeks to be ready for harvest. But if you want larger roots, you can wait for about 12 weeks. And for the fact that the beetroot is sun resistant, it is perfect for Africa. So if you are looking for that plant that you could invest your money in and help people's lives while making money at the same time, think no more and go for the beets root. Next on our list is the aloe vera plant. Yeah, this is that plant that most of us are familiar with. But if you are among the 1% that doesn't know of aloe vera, it might interest you to know that it is a cactus-like plant with large basal leaves. A mature aloe vera plant generally bears about 12 to 16 leaves and it has a lifespan of 12 years. So aloe vera is that plant that is widely used in the beauty industry. There are a million and tons of products containing aloe vera. It is good for almost all parts of the body, from the clearing of pimples to the clearing of stretch marks and eczema and many more. Aloe vera is that one 
one plant that most people have at least used once in their lifetime. It is also an antioxidant and has antibacterial properties. It therefore accelerates the healing of a wound and helps fade away scars and is very good at stimulating the collagen production to fight against aging. Aloe vera also lowers the blood sugar levels even in people suffering from type 2 diabetes. That's why you would see a lot of people drinking aloe vera despite its bitter taste. So if you're interested in the farming of aloe vera, it might interest you to know that you are going to be a little bit patient but it is going to be taking three to four years to fully mature. We are talking here of fully grown thick aloe vera leaves. We aren't talking of those small tiny things we grow in our backyards and claim to have aloe vera, right? We are talking here of the thick large aloe vera that is easily commercialized. So you are going to be looking for a well-drained loam sandy soil and note that a hectare of aloe vera plants could generate up to four hundred thousand dollars for you with such a figure why wouldn't you invest in the cultivation of aloe vera the next on our list is chia seeds the chia plant also known as salvia hispanica comes from the same family as the mint plant chia has a lot of health benefits but it is that one plant that you should know exactly how to consume for the wrong consumption of chia would have adverse effects on you. So in order for you to know why you need to grow chia in Africa, here are some of the benefits that come along with the chia plant. Once the chia plant matures, it pops up its beautiful flowers that produces what we call the chia seeds or the chia boards. So these seeds are ground and used for lots of health issues. So some of the benefits of the chia seeds are the fact that it improves the health of our heart. It also reduces cholesterol levels and promotes intestinal health. Chia decreases your risk of getting diabetes and also helps with weight loss. That makes me understand why most of our brothers in the northern part of Cameroon are often tall and slim. This makes me think that chia consumption contributes a great deal in their physical look. This is because they consume a lot of chia despite the fact that they eat a lot of corn and beef. The chia seeds are actually high in fiber, therefore helping to lower high blood pressure and reduces your risk of developing heart-related disease in general. I love drinking chia. There are lots of chia joints here in Yaoundé and I love drinking them. Whenever I have the opportunity to drink chia, I don't hesitate for I am aware of its numerous benefits and aside from that, it tastes so good and has a very good aroma. Chia is one of those things that is very very good for export as it has a long lifespan. Chia seeds could be stored for two to five years and still maintain all its properties. So it is definitely a good pick for you. Let's now go to the next on our list which is the ginger plant. The ginger plant or roots is one of those things that people consume nowadays in Africa in various forms. Me, I'm building Chivajo as a leading uh, ginger East African plant. Yeah. So that in East Africa, someone, when you talk about ginger, it's chivajo which comes first. A lot of people and now that, love to drink it as juice, making it suitable for those who want to invest in a fruit juice brand. And that makes me think of this video that I made some time ago that you all loved so, so much. So if you are watching this video and you haven't watched this video yet, please do well to rush immediately after this one and watch it. But this is one of those videos on the channel that you will feel blessed watching. For on there, I shared a secret that most people wouldn't share and all those who watched that video actually felt blessed and i want you to be blessed as well so make sure you don't miss out on this the link will obviously be in the description box as well as in the comment section and ginger is that one thing that most african mothers will always put in their food we've got ginger powder nowadays and ginger paste that people use for various reasons so it might interest you to know that ginger 
temperature is very high in vitamin C and in vitamin B6 and also in magnesium. It also helps against constipation and bloated stomach. The ginger plant is highly used by the Chinese and the Indians. They drink it as tea and also put it in some of their recipes. Do you know that if you drink only a glass of ginger per day, you would be cured from stomach acid reflux. And this is something a lot of people suffer from. Also, you will be relieved from excessive gas. It will also have an anti-ulcer effect on you. So there are lots of benefits that come with drinking ginger. When we talk of drinking ginger here, we simply mean taking a chunk of ginger, chopping it off, blending it and mixing it with a glass of warm water and drinking it in the morning or in the evening depending on which one suits your situation. The ginger plant has a lot of benefits that I can't exhaust here today but amongst all you should know that it's actually a good pain reliever and strengthens the immune system. Now let's quickly go to the next which is often associated with ginger most times and you've probably guessed it right it's the garlic plant the garlic plant is a herb related to leeks and onion it also has lots of benefits such as the lowering of blood pressure the boosting of immune system lowering of cholesterol and it is rich in nutrients like the vitamin b6 and the vitamin c it's rich in fiber and magnesium good for bloated stomach and it's also good for common colds and flu i remember back in the days when we were kids our African moms will often make a mixture of ginger, garlic, lemon, and honey to help ease our colds and flu. And it really worked perfectly. Just that alone made some of us to grow without having to take certain pharmaceutical medications. And nowadays, there's a common trend that people drink or eat garlic for some of the reasons that I enumerated above. Also, garlic is that one plant that is often mixed with ginger to produce what we call in Africa the ginger and garlic paste and this paste is used in most of our African recipes so if you are still pondering on which plants to grow in Africa that could enhance a healthy living within Africans and put some good money into your pockets as well garlic should definitely be your pick the next on our list is the fish production or fish farming yeah this is one of those things that you definitely need to embark on if you want to improve on people's health you know fish is white flesh right and it is rich in omega-3 fats which lowers the risk of heart disease and diabetes so fish has a lot of property and we've made a video where we covered fish farming so if you are interested please do well to watch this video and and learn more on fish farming that said let's go to the next point which is citrus fruits when we talk of citrus fruits here we are talking of things like lemon oranges and grapes the big grape right what we call in french pamplemousse and just like the others it reduces high blood pressure and reduces the risk of diabetes citrus fruits are also very great for fruit juice among others and there's this irresistible taste and flavor that citrus fruits have that people enjoy their juices so much so if you are one of those people who would love to invest in a fruit juice brand citrus juices are definitely some of those juices you should incorporate in your brand i personally love lemon juice so much last but not the least is berries yes all sorts of berries all right people love berries so so much be it the strawberries blueberries or you name whichever berries you love people love them so much in africa but unfortunately those berries aren't really grown in africa for some reason unknown to me or that i wouldn't love to dive into right here berries were claimed not to do well in africa and we all know that it was a big lie but then that's not the issue here let's go straight to what interests us 
here berries especially blueberries are very good for people suffering from heart disease it's also good for people suffering from high blood pressure it's good for the kidney especially those who have kidney issues if you've got a patient suffering from kidney complications please do well to give them blueberries for they are low in phosphorus and sodium making it appropriate for someone suffering from kidney malfunction now goal getters at this stage i believe i've edified you enough on healthy living farming ideas that you could launch in africa and make some good money for yourself while helping humanity as a whole that said thanks for watching this video and i will see you on my next one